So they are phones that are big, they're phones that are wide, they're phones that have a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. Yes, cinema display, 4K. I'm talking about the Xperia 1 from Sony. Let's do some gaming. So the brand new Sony Xperia 1 is finally here. It was announced at MWC. We saw it then, we didn't pay too much attention, but we have it in house. This is a device that is truly different. It's got a 21 by nine aspect ratio for a display. It is wide, it is cinema wide. It's wider than a lot of people's monitors out there. But this is quite unique. So before we get into some of the gameplay elements, let's talk about what Sony brings to the table here. So first off, it's a 4K display, it's HDR ready, supports HDR. You actually have to switch to, of course, that cinema HDR content. You can go into your settings on the display. You can switch between and toggle between the different um, uh, display settings. Of course, that will also conserve your battery life. That being said, 4K HDR display, lovely, looking display and when you look at it side by side with uh, devices like the Galaxy S10 Plus, uh, the OnePlus 7 Pro, um, you can see it's slightly taller than the OnePlus 7 Pro and also slimmer than both devices together. So you can see how thin it is. So which brings something quite interesting. It's, it's uh, a little bit difficult to get to the top of the device while you're using it if you were trying to navigate across. Now, other things you find with this device, it's got Dolby Atmos built in. So you've got Dolby Atmos sound, you have stereo speakers, which is pretty nice. Now, this is powered by the Snapdragon um, 855 processor. You've got six gigs of RAM, surprising. And you've also got um, a battery that's 3300 milliamp battery in there. So you've got a sizable battery. We'll talk about how battery management is, especially when we're gaming at 4K, because that's what we're doing here with this, because uh, we went ahead and we switched it's over. Now, a couple of other things you find in the device, it's got a triple camera setup, um, and it's got a new cinema recording uh, set settings, which we will do a video on so you guys can check out because that's something that's really cool and interesting. I wanna see how well this device actually does with uh, video recording. Now, there is no uh, headphone jack at all, but you do have uh, Adobe Atmos, you've got stereo speakers. So we're gonna hear all that. We're going to jump into gaming. We're gonna play a couple of games. We'll give you our heat temperatures, let you know what we, we've, we've gotten from this, and we'll be playing a few for you to see here. So let's go ahead and get into some gameplay.
So the first thing you notice is that almost every game automatically went to 21 by 9 aspect ratio. Um, I didn't have to do anything. It looks like it fully supports that, which is nice. Now this is running Android um, Android 9. It looks like it's a close to stock Android experience when you're going through the UI. Very simple, very smooth, um, which is nice. Now you also notice while we were gaming, there was a pinkish floating bar. That is the game enhancer, which allows you to do screen recordings up to 1080 and also um, make sure that you are maximizing your system, your gaming to you know, with the most uh, processing power of your system. Uh, it's not too in depth in terms of settings, but it's still nice. Now, the games themselves, they all ran really well. When we played Fortnite, we played PUBG, we played Asphalt Night, and even all the games like Real Racing 3, those handled well and ran really good. Uh, Real Racing 3 was the only game that didn't expand all the way to 21 by nine. Uh, again, maybe that's because they haven't done an update for the game, but, the newer games all came up to 21 by 9 and it ran well. In terms of temperatures, max temperature I got was about 97, what are you seeing on screen is about 96, but it ran really cool, uh, which is what I liked. I couldn't play Call of Duty Mobile because the beta has ended, uh, but hopefully when that comes out, I'll be able to do that for you guys to see. But I'm liking the performance here. Now, speaking of the battery, 3300. When we started gaming, it was uh, about 88%. Well, time we were done gaming for about two hours or so, so uh, we got about roughly 63%. So that 4K uh, display does drain your battery life if you're gaming in 4K. Just to let you know what you're getting there. So hopefully you get a good idea of what it actually brings to the table. Uh, but this is really smooth, it is fast, and I like the overall, overall performance. Also the speakers are quite loud. You've got that uh, haptic feedback uh, built into it, giving you kind of like a rumble bass feel to the speakers as well. Um, and I think you know a lot of people will definitely like what um, you know, uh, Sony has brought the table. Now, the only downside is this device is pretty pricey. Uh, it's available in the UK for about $940. Uh, that's how much I actually picked it up for, um, just so I could give you guys a solid look at what gaming looks like on a device that has a 21 by nine aspect ratio for a smartphone. Now, a couple of things to note, it doesn't have wireless charging. It does have fast charging built into USB type C, uh, which you have there. And it also has, um, it has a very streamlined feel to it, which is something that I've not seen in the Sony device in a while. So I do like that. But for 21 by 9 4K gaming on the Xperia 1, it's solid. Now guys, if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video, favor this video, subscribe to the channel, smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and always enjoy your entertainment. And yeah, we're heading to E3, so stay tuned for lots of cool content from there.